The Story of St. Piran, written by Tom Ganey, illustrated by Ryan Cardew, and told by Tony Phillips and Loveday Jenkin. You're about to hear the magical tale of St. Piran. It's a story that dates back as far as the fifth century, but never gets old. A bit like the man himself. But our story doesn't begin in Cornwall, and our hero wasn't known as Piran. Avel Mao Perrin a Devis in Iwerthon, in Dethiona Ninzo F. Azonis Manas, Avel Kieran, Ha Christian Lelo, F. Aver Habos Epscop, Azonis Drevras, O Awos I Alos Asauya and Glevion, Ha Scrifis U a Hilly F. Drehevel and Dusvaro Hogan, Kinre Liesdain Kara Hak Estimia Kieran, Tis Errol a Vertha Bosa Vias Oth e Lies Roas. Un nos aro Miterneth Iwerthon a Sinzas Kirin hae Gadona the Vain Melin, Main Kirchek Gans Malagrun, Enna e Antelis in Moor. As a boy, Piran grew up in Ireland, and back then he was simply known as Kieran and he was a devoted Christian, and he became a bishop. He was best known for his ability to cure the sick, and it's written that he could even raise the dead. And while many adored and admired Kieran, others grew jealous of his many talents. One stormy night, the kings of Ireland captured Kieran chained him to a millstone, a circular stone used for grinding grain, and then they chucked it off the cliff into the sea. Kettle frappiers Kieran and Doer, Kelmis wath and main paws, Puptra hafelis changer, and Torno tarth kinseris hagwills, a levenas hagagozelhez. And Gwinzo, Kinzoth Ula in un fourth arthe, a uh, defigus ware, an ebron deul a wallowas, leveris ewin weth, the splanus dewin a wallow warnans wa geren, geren a drus viewus and corth, nezin weth, the omloen he wa trumach salo, the hui and dismigus, Soon as Kieran still tied to that heavy stone, hit the water. Everything seemed to change. The crashing waves, once angry and fierce, died down and became calm. The winds, once deafeningly howling, also eased off in an instant. The dark sky lightened, and it's even said that a beam of light shone down upon Kieran. Kieran not only survived the fall, but could also enjoy a safe crossing, yet yeah, you guessed it, to Cornwall. Kieran agameris in Lowen viage fast, kins tira wo dreth in kerno. Hen with you lemon and treth ma porth peren, aval tribute the Thivethians and pimpus of his mirth. Squeeth was an viage, Kieran a Averis Gogoska, Enna F. Averkius Fervo in Pelder, a turth a bows a pet bows an terverf, Skurzik Broch, Loarn ha bath, Ian Denechis than Domda Agagogo, Niglusens Lesius Kippa han Huni Dodo Kins, ha Wartuith Ian Henwith, Perrin in Lay Kieran, han Hanno. Abasius. Kieran enjoyed a steady voyage before washing up on a Cornish beach. We now call this beach Perrinpore, in tribute to his arrival on March the 5th. Tired from the journey, 
Kieran decided to have a quick sleep. And then he noticed figures in the distance and the three shadowy figures and the three shadowy shapes turned out to be a badger, a fox and a boar. They welcomed him to the warmth of their cave but they'd never heard an accent like his before and they ended up calling him Piran instead and the name stuck. Broch lo on habath a verth abos coetha ver the beren, peren ave aswanis in scorn ave al sans awo the thiscazo cridjek, in scorn a ver drehevis chapel bean into eno porth peren, hae vagorio a ilbos gwelis wath heth you. Aja, fox, and boar became great friends with peren. And Piran was soon considered a saint for his religious teachings. And even then, a small chapel was built in the sand dunes of Perranporth, the remains of which can still be seen to this day. In Gorthua, Perran Hanebis Coetha, Eza O Tomhe, Riptan. Han vechias and pregotha main o koloi. If an cameris in ban, hagathisto lean o chansek a cigaris mez and othel, o formia crows. Stain o an lean ma, a lena rag a tho peren as one as avel tas sans tus val in weth. Rag salempnia peren asinsis gul bras. Was a nebis the eva tam. Bray aveth lava ma vedo avel perena aver denethis. One evening, St. Perrin and some friends were keeping warm near a fire when the preacher noticed a rock glowing. He picked it up and suddenly a silver liquid seeped out of it, forming a cross, and that liquid was tin. And from that moment, St. Piran was known as the patron saint of tin miners too. And to celebrate, St. Piran held a, a great feast. And after some had had a little too much mead, the phrase, as drunk as a perano, was born. Discuthian stain, a fatal for fervous war and main of Coloi and Nosna, a ledges in weth the Rians and Pitha Braderin bores banner canethlet kernel, banner peren. Surlis ver and barra war and grows win a stain, turvis war and gain dear do, hath who thigil de worth and tan. The discovery of tin and the way it was shaped on the glowing rock that night also led to the creation of what we consider Cornwall's national flag, the St Piran's flag. The flag was based on the white cross of melted tin on the black background of soot from the fire. Heron agara kerno, ha kerno ankara, effa a virus trigger enna dres remnants idethio, o pu abis in oz avances, deu cans ha hue bloth, bitterkens nira e hen weather merwell nefra, paran kepa hagin porth peren, a malias ran agerno, ha dresti agema e hano. They worth Perenuth no in Kerno West, the San Perin in Breton Vian. Dave Perin, you and Pimpus of his mirth, had raised Gould Perin, and these in Kerno a Borthkoff Agathasans, Dre Gesgerdo, Kana, Hag Oth Omjoinia, Sostan Kernuic, Kepaha Pastio. St. Perin loved Cornwall. And Cornwall loved him. He decided to stay there for the rest of his days, living until the ripe old age of 
206. His legend, however, will never die. And just like in Perranport, there are many parts in Cornwall and beyond that take his name. From Perranuthno in West Cornwall to St Perrin in Brittany. And St Perrin's Day is the 5th of March. And over Perrantide, the people of Cornwall remember their patron saint in the form of processions, singing, and the enjoyment of Cornish refreshments, like pasties. In Termin Perrin, a first Alia Sans Celtic Arrol in Fu in Wales. In Gwirioneth, a preda twos in Feno and Osna avel Oz and Sens. And Sens na and Jeffo Kevrin Purgraf the Genethlo Celtic. In Kembra, Breton Vian, Hakerno, Hagero. Have you in Breton Vian, a ma lemon tiller or benic, lay my save delio and sends warbarth. Nans and sends rebu tribute, reva avia dovil haseith. In dovil hagetek, delo rowan a baron, kervis in chilosk, a druses the worth kerno, le Breton Vian, ragsinzi he lay. Henwis the Viage and Coer. While St. Perrin was alive, there were many other Celtic saints around too. In fact, that time period is often considered as the age of the saints. And these saints had a really strong link to Celtic nations, including Wales, Brittany, and Cornwall. Today, in Brittany, there's now a special place where statues of the saints stand together. The Valley of the Saints has been a tribute to them since 2007. And in 2018, a granite statue of St Piran, carved in Mabe, crossed from Cornwall to Brittany to take its place. And it was called the Giant's Crossing. And that may be the life of St. Piran, as told by this story. And this story, the book, is available from Kawatha Sanyeth Kanoek on its website or through their shop, the Kozva, in Heartlands. But before we go, there's also a little quiz that people might like to have a have a go at. And now the answers in Gorthebo.
Muraz Ragbos Lois Orthony. Thank you for listening to us. <laughs>